I got a parcel today from Gunther Schmidt, he's the guy behind Lexicalica and it should contain a really nice sharpener. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, Faber Castell, they used to make a sharpener called the Janus from the 30s uh, till the 70s and it was a handheld sharpener that's concave. So the, the, the point you get is concave, it's slightly bent inwards. Um, you can still get concave sharpeners, a good example would be a Daly's uh, 06 5 that's a slightly concave um, point, but it's not handheld, so you know, if, if you want to take it with you, it's not an easy option. But here, let's have a look. Hi Matthias, lots of fun. Have lots of fun with this. Um, we got the sharpener here, I hope. Uh, let's have a look. And this is the Amoebius and Rupert Pollux. It looks a bit like the Grenade, uh, which is another sharpener they make, and uh, Gunther has written uh, many blog posts about it. But the difference here is the Pollux is concave. You can see that the blade is slightly bent. Uh, and yeah, let's, let's have a look. What's the weight? Got this cheap scale from Amazon, I think it was less than 10 pounds, but it's very precise. So, 24 gram roughly. I bought it actually because I was trying to check whether I can distinguish the wood used in Stedler Norris pencils by weight. Uh, there's quite a bit of overlap, so uh, I'll need to look into that. So, 24 gram. Uh, let's sharpen. A pencil. Let's take a Stadler. What do we have here? Mars Stenofix. And let's see no, what kind of point we get. Okay. It's very smooth to sharpen the pencil. I guess one reason is that the blade is still quite sharp. Let's have a look how far we got. Yeah, still quite a bit to go. Yeah, camera should focus. By the way, the Mars Steno fix uh, comes pre sharpened. I just cut the point off so that I get the full experience sharpening with the Pollux. The, the shavings are very thin. They are so thin, you know, we end up with holes. I think this might be. Uh, this is maybe not the, the uh, this is not a very new pencil, so I don't know whether the wood changed a bit over time. I don't know whether we get a similar issue with other uh, pencils we can try later. No. Doesn't want to focus. It looks quite flaky. That's basic. What I want to show at the moment is. That it doesn't look that smooth, it looks a bit flaky. I don't know whether this is down to the to the sharpener or down to the pencil. Okay, the point we got is very nice. At least the graphic the graphite part is. 
but the wood is quite flaky. Uh, for comparison, let's do a concave point with the daily. My wife's phone fell down, that's not a good thing. Let's focus again. Okay. Let's so the one with the tape is the daily sharpened one. Yeah, the daily has a Ah, come on, the daily has a longer point, but I, I expected that. I think I can't remember now. I think the daily has a angle of seventeen degrees, and I think Gunther wrote on his blog that the uh, that the Pollux sharpens with an angle of eighteen point five uh, degrees. I'm just trying to figure out which one is more concave. And I think uh, definitely the the Pollux is more concave. Okay. Does it write well? I'm sure it will. Focus again. Yeah. Okay, let's check the angle. Battery. So I'm right handed, so I'm just I'll just have to turn it around for now. Uh, and the point being concave makes it also more difficult to measure. Yeah, eighteen points the I got. Well, no, it moved a bit. It was eighteen points the when I thought it was. Uh, it was tied around the point. So let's round it up. Eighteen point five degrees. So my only, it's a great sharpener for sure. My only concern at the moment is whether the flakiness we got. Is from this specific pencil or whether um, yeah well, that's down to the sharpener okay let's try a Korean pencil I've got a, a TTT prime got them long ago from Kent I think nine year nine no wait seven years ago from Kent um, who who is running or you who used to run the pencil lock block? Okay. The shavings are very thin as again. It's a problem of this pencil. A bit of the lead broke off and is now jammed in the sharpener. Okay, let's get it out. Definitely the pencil to blame. I'm surprised they let break so easily because it's been stored in my 
in my drawer all these years, so it hasn't been thrown around. <clears throat> okay, let's get some something else that wasn't planned for. Something that sharpened, okay. Just because I don't have so much choice here, let's take a color and dash the unsharpened side. Oh yeah, this one sharpens ready. Well and again the shavings are extremely thin. Yeah, the wood is also slightly... Can I focus on it? The wood is also slightly torn. I wonder whether this is... a problem with, with this specific blade or, or whether other Pollux... What's the plural of Pollux? Policies, policies have the same problem. Uh, but except the, 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 the torn wood uh, it produces a great point. Let's have a quick look before we finish. I just need to uh, take the battery. Let's have a look at the shavings because they, they seem quite thin. So, how thick are they? 0.2 millimeters. It was the Edelweiss, Kalandash Edelweiss 0.25. Let's take some shavings from, is it still zero? Yeah, more or less. Let's take some shavings from the Mars Stenofix. Yeah, they're, they're a bit torn, that might contribute. But let's say the shavings are Roughly 0.25 millimeter thick. Okay, I think that's all for now for this uh, sharpener. It should certainly produces a nice uh, concave point, uh, but it does seem to shred the the water bit. That's um, I don't know whether if, if if I sharpen that blade a bit, whether that's gonna help or not. Oh, come on, focus. Oh, so not. Okay, thanks for watching.